Hey guys, Peter with Crunch Time Coaching, and today I'm so excited about this video because we are here with a baller today. This is James McGee, and he works with Jeff Salzenstein at Tennis Evolution, and he's here in Georgia, and he stopped by because he just wants to see what we do out here at Crunch Time Coaching. Uh, make sure you definitely check out Jeff's channel at Tennis Evolution, and you're going to see some videos of James here. You'll probably see more videos with him as well. But James has uh, he's an ATP player. He's beaten players like Shapovalov, Tiafo. He's gone to the U.S. Open and played. You qualified for pretty much all the majors. Is that correct? I qualified into the U.S. Open in 2014, and I played the the qualifying of 13 Grand Slams now. 13 Grand Slams, guys. That is amazing. He played Davis Cup. So what I'm basically telling you is he would totally kick my butt, but I'm still gonna hit with him anyway because he's got a fantastic drill that I've never heard of that I'm like, okay, I can't wait to do this with my juniors and even my serious adults who want to really uh, get consistent. This is a great consistency drill. So, so tell us about it, James. Uh, yeah, it's a great drill for consistency and depth and it, it can be done from the very start of practice. Um, so it's, it, the idea of it is, is to start off with your opponent hitting up, down, up and down through the middle. Um, if your opponent lands a shot inside the service line, they go minus one. If they land a shot between the service line and sort of three quarter court here, they're on zero. And if they land a, a shot between three quarter court and the baseline, they go plus one. And then between the baseline uh, and about a meter and a half, they go, ze they go zero. And then if they miss a shot way long, they go minus one. So the idea is to first to plus 10 wins and you're really challenging yourself on your depth and you call out your opponent's score. So if they landed inside the service line, they're minus one. If they go deep again, they go from minus one to plus one, which is zero. And then you, you add up from there. Okay, very cool. Well, let's do this and we'll show you guys the scoring system as we're playing so you can understand it. And um, I'm just hoping the score's not 10-0. So let's, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. One. That's the minus one. Yep, exactly. Okay. I got two, right? You're on? Yeah. Try it now. Yeah. But my two count. <laughs> okay, we'll say you're on plus two. All right. That's one for you. Plus three. Two. Oh, no. Two. Three. Plus four. James, I got completely lucky and I eat you out 10-9, but I can tell just by the way you're hitting that I want no part of you in a match. <laughs> but uh, it was very fun to do that. And so so wrap it up for us as far as what, what we should have been getting out of that. Um, it, it's really a consistency and a depth drill. And one of the great things about it is it's from the very first ball of practice. So we, we know that if you start your practice well, it's going to help for the rest of your practice. You know, if you start your practice off a little bit poorly and you're shanking balls and you're not really focused on your depth, it can, it can sort of lead into the rest of your practice. So a really good way to start your practice, focusing on your depth, focusing on your consistency, and it's physically and mentally 
uh, engaging, you know, so really, really uh, great drill. I love that. Every ball counts. And one thing I noticed, the thing that was annoying me the most is if I got a couple points and I hit the ball short, it really bothered me, which maybe I was just hitting with you. And as long as I thought the ball was in, I'd be like, oh, I'm hitting with this ATP player and, and the ball's in. I'm happy with that. But when I hit short, I'm like, uh-oh, this is not good. Exactly. No, it's uh, you get punished at the higher levels for dropping balls short. So it's, it's going to get you into good habits uh, from the very first ball. And, and one uh, thing to really focus on in that drill, if you want to focus on your depth, is your height over the net. You know, if you're constantly mixing up your heights and one's low and one's high, it's very, very difficult to get that consistency and that depth. But if you can figure out a height that you can hit, hit, at, hit at, which is say one, it's probably two racket lengths above the net, uh, so two to three racket lengths, um, that's gonna help you get your depth. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much, James McGee, for coming out. Uh, I'll be you. looking for James on Tennis Evolution, and uh, I really enjoyed today's video. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very much, Peter. I appreciate it. It was a great video.